If you're going for photorealistic scenes and rendering in Blender, or have perhaps any 3D modeling software, then it's important to keep a close eye out for the lighting and the shadows in your scene, because a lot of beginners and students of 3D modeling tend to make these mistakes where the lighting is too strong and the shadows are too sharp, or sometimes the lighting is too soft and the shadows are barely visible, and that's even worse. So today, I'm going to teach you how to correctly adjust your lighting and shadows in your scene when attempting to create realistic renders or any type of render in general. This tutorial will be very quick as the method only takes a couple of clicks. But before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more beginner and intermediate tips, tricks, and secrets. If you're going for realistic rendering, map baking for video games, or just wanting to do a quick lighting showcase, then this video will be very helpful to you. So I have two light sources referred to as lamps that we'll be using to demonstrate with. On the top, I have a preview render of the scene, and as you can see, the lighting is too overexposed on the right and the shadows are too sharp. Our goal is to blend the shadows and the lighting so that it looks more real, but not too much to where there's no shadows. Now all we have to do to fix this is right click on our light source and go to the lamp tab on the right. You'll be able to change the size, strength, and light bounces as well as the color. All we're doing is raising the size of our lamp. This will increase the limits of the light's casting, making the light reach farther and decreasing the brightness and the shadow sharpness. Let's look again. This is an example of shadows that are too sharp increasing the lamp size, and we get more smoother shadows. You can also change the strength of the lamp and the shadows will still be blended, but try not to overexpose your image. Another huge mistake to not do is to increase the lamp size by too much. You don't want to blend it to where there's barely light and to where the shadows are barely visible or completely invisible. Now this probably doesn't sound like a big deal, but when it comes to creating 3D scenes for the industry, or for a movie project, or anything in general, this is something very important to know and to look out for. So don't do this, or this, but instead, do this. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. If you're a beginner or student of 3D modeling, be sure to subscribe, as my tutorials are only dedicated to beginners and intermediates. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to share this on social media with your friends, give this video a like, and subscribe for more. Thank you, God bless, and get to bonbon.